Hi, this is Kev Morris from York Construction Academy. Um, I am here today to show you a quick foolproof method on how to cut crown molding to minimize frustration. Crown molding can be one of the most challenging trims to install, um, and there are a couple of different ways to approach it. Now this crown that I have here is a universal MDF crown molding, so it can be turned in any direction. One of the keys to getting a good inside miter is to cut the crown on the chop saw in such a way that you're not getting gaps. So the one method that is often employed is people will attempt to cut it with the crown molding on the fence like that and cut it at a 45. That's not incorrect. That, that is definitely one option. But what you'll find happens is if you have the slightest twist on the crown, it will affect your miters dramatically. So I'm going to show you a quick, easy method on how to install the crown molding uh, flat on the chop saw so that you can uh, maximize your, uh, your flexibility on the cut. So there are two magic numbers that we like to use uh, in the industry. And this is a plus or minus because you'll find that every room that you get into, the uh, walls and the ceilings are never quite square. So the jump off numbers that you're gonna be looking for are approximately 30 to 31. Some saws have a preset here that may work for you. That's around 33 degrees. And then on the, the foot of your saw, you're going to set that at approximately 35 degrees and lock it in. The key to this whole procedure is that if you are cutting inside corners to get your inside 90 degree, you want to cut the material with the profile face up. And I'll demonstrate that. Now I am simply, I'm leaving this bevel and now I'm going to move my saw over to the 35, again approximately 35 degree position this way and flip my crown molding the other way. And now just for the sake of being able to see it finished. I'll just cut off a couple of small pieces here. And you'll see that when you bring them together, it creates that 90 degree corner that you're looking for right here. Now, for outside corners, you simply do the same routine, but now you flip the material so that the profile is face down. And with a nice sharp blade, you shouldn't have too much tear out on the material when you're cutting the outside corners. So same degree here, locked in, same degree here, approximately 35. my saw back to 35 this way. You will potentially have to change this bevel depending on how your walls and your ceilings are behaving. So you'll have to make adjustments accordingly. outside corner. So that's it for crown molding for today. I'm Kev Morris from York Construction Academy. We hope to see you here and you can learn all these skills and much more. Bye for now.